Trini directors on our Emerald All-Stars um, director before 30th of June week. Um, hello. Uh, okay, so week two. Um, congratulations to everybody who uh, read the chapter on week one, all about goals. Especially big shout out to everybody who actually took time to put their goals up for everybody to see. I think we had a really good time um, sharing them. And um, I think they were all well received. And um, if they go according to plan, we have a lot of weddings to attend in 2016. Um, the main thing is, is that you have a goal. And I know Shelley shared with us um, that um, goals were just dreams with a deadline. And I thought that was so, so true. For those of you that haven't taken time yet to uh, prepare a goal, I would seriously suggest that you do it. Or maybe this course is um, not quite going to go according to plan for you. So week two, we are looking at not making hope your business plan. Now, I don't know how many times we've got to tell you guys this. If you um, have the goal of getting a car, you're not going to hope that you get a car or if you have the goal of having a new job you're not going to hope that you get the new job that's not the way that you're going to achieve it is it by just sitting there and go well I hope a new car just kind of you know drops from the sky and lands on my lap that's not how it works you're going to make a plan you're going to work hard you're going to go and get a loan but have a repayment idea you're going to put some thought and some effort into it it's exactly the same with your sensi business. If you are serious about being directed, serious about supporting others to achieve their goals and dreams, then you cannot ever rely on hope. And it kind of drives me back. You're like, oh, well, I hope I reach my 500. Well, I'm really hoping I get some consultants this week. That is not going to work. So treat it as if it's something else important in your life. Hope does not work. So um, I'm looking at my notes because I wrote my notes. Um... One of the things I will say about your business is that it's really, really important that if you are direct to material that you open your business every single day. You are the manager of your own business. You are also the employees of your own business. You hold the key to your business and you have to open it every single day. Consistency is absolutely the key. Um, there is no point being like the seasonal restaurant. Uh, we have one down the road from us and it will be open from June to September. And for the rest of the year, what are we all supposed to do? Go and whistle? Well, we don't. We go somewhere else and we, we take our business elsewhere. And, you know, that's what I find with Sensi Consultants. They work really hard for two weeks and then they kind of take a week off and then they open their business kind of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all excited and then kind of take the weekend off, you know. If you know that there's a restaurant that's open from kind of nine to five, Monday to Friday, it's really regular, um, cares about your business, or there's this restaurant that kind of opens as and when it fancies, which one are you going to go to? And it's exactly the same with your business and especially critical when you have a team because you can't just decide that today you're going to mentor your team, but tomorrow, do you know, I'm just a little bit too busy. You have to constantly be on your game and you could be listening to this thinking that's too much hard work if it is this course isn't for you or you could be looking at it and thinking yeah i can do that i can commit because you know something one of the things that gets me through the hard times is that i know that i have other people who joined because of us or rely on us and expect us to be able to deliver and want to see us being upbeat want to see us opening our shop every day um and you know so remember it's not just about you it's about your team um with sensi you guys already know the key to your directorships is your own hard work and it's your own hard work spent helping other people to open businesses um you can work as hard as you like on your own sales but if you don't have any recruits you're not going to go anywhere so it's about bringing other people in sharing the business opportunity selling the business opportunity to them and putting your time and effort in helping them it's kind of a bit like pay it forward you're doing something for other people and eventually you get the payback uh, you will be a director based on five things and five things only there's no other way to be a director you can't buy your way there you can't cheat your way there and you can't hope that you're going to hit director because you're not you're going to get there because of the number of frontline that you've got. So I've got it written down here. Um, frontline is critical. It's not how many other people in your team have recruits. It's about your frontline. So recruit wide and do it fast. 
it's about the group wholesale that you will do as a team that is absolutely critical it's all about hitting the 10,000 every single month it's about making as many active frontline as possible Scott and I get extremely well paid at director level because we have a huge number of active frontline so that's because we bring in a lot of newbies who activate and we also have a lot of genuinely very interested in good since he sells and we encourage them month after month by contacting them to make their sales open their store for business and don't be like the seasonal cafe so the more active frontline you get the better you will get paid um you need to help your teamies to promote and you need to help them to promote very high up there as well you know if you hit star consultant or above you're in the top five percent of the whole company if you hit director you're in the top one percent i think it is and to be a superstar well there's only 300 in the whole country company country uh you know what is it that you want to be do you want to be good exceptional or do you want to be outstanding and i know where i want to be on things and i know where i know where i would like to see you guys um the secret i would say to really being able to access the directorship taking into account all of the five key things that i've just told you is to get newbies in and work with them side by side until they hit the level of at least star consultant why star because when you hit star consultant the money does start to change you do start to suddenly see that that paycheck has a good few hundred extra because of the work that your team did your bonuses are exciting and you actually begin often to see that there is real benefit to this business and that actually um you could make uh, life-changing income could leave your job could do whatever you wanted with it so when you get newbies in it's all to, to hit star is all about harnessing their excitement they are the most excited people on your team without a doubt so get them in get them booking their starter party and other parties so work with them immediately to start booking parties and not necessarily facebook parties i was a fan of them but i've done a lot of work on them i think they're easy to ignore i think it goes against the face of being social and you don't get to smell the fragrances so the sales are never high so make them house parties wherever possible get them to shooting star no matter what it is critical that you guys are getting them to shooting star there's always a bonus for you guys for hitting shooting star with them as well and it's a cash bonus so check that out in your starter guide and get your teamies to get their first recruit get them building your team from the very start they can do you know something Get them to recruit a friend and you can train the pair of them it's more fun doing business if your mates doing it too so the three things to get them going and then work with them to hit shooting uh, sensational start level one or two at least um preferably two and from then on just continue to work with them to star level why star because if you get four four star consultants on your front line or um directly below you in your team then that is your director numbers right there so star is really important for them and for you so focus your time and your energy and your resources on income generating activities that is the other thing i wanted to speak to you guys about today don't spend it on planning don't spend it on making pretty little pictures don't spend it on doing diagrams or maps or endless charts of buy sell groups you're in or anything else spend your time getting sales spend your time getting consultants spend your time booking parties doing parties making money every time you do something for your business i want you to stop yourself and say am i actually doing an income generating activity is this going to make me money whether it's short term or long term and make sure that uh, every day you remained focused focus 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 on your goals and just getting the job done because if you train a magnifying glass with the sun on a piece of paper and you train it and you focus and you keep it steady it can start a flame and it's the same thing with your sensi business if you stay focused do the same activities that work repeatedly over and over again have commitment 
you will start the fire and you will go all the way. If you fanny around, take your time off procrastinating, doing other things, worrying about how you're going to get started, then you're never going to get started. So please focus on income generating activities. So what else have we got? Um, aha! This was the other thing. You guys are going to go away after this and read chapter two and it's going to talk much more in detail about this. But the other thing about being a director is you have to go out there and you have to make mistakes and you are going to face challenges. Some of them could be really, really big ones. You know, the road to success was never a smooth one. The path is certainly filled with bumps, hills, mountains. I've climbed a few. Um, and potholes and you're just going to have to accept it there is no smooth ride to success and if it was a smooth ride i don't think it would feel as freaking awesome when you achieve it so get used to the fact you're going to make mistakes if you're not making mistakes then frankly you're not working and challenges you're going to be challenged all the time by your team, by the work you're doing, by the people in your life. Are you sure about Sensi? This product's rubbish, blah, blah, blah. It's too expensive. Why are you doing this? Oh, it's a pyramid scheme. Challenges are everywhere. And if you're not getting challenged, then you're playing in the sandbox. So you should be making mistakes and you should be facing challenges and you should be questioning yourself and you should be um, overcoming these challenges because you are committed to achieving success. You have your goals in front of you all the time. Don't waver from these goals. And if that goal is not driving you forward, if you get a challenge that you feel you're just not going to get over, then you need to go back and look at your goal because if your goal is not wow enough, you're not going to make that extra effort. So that is mistakes and challenges. And um, pretty much that is it for me today i just want to say that you need to go read chapter two i would like you all to write yourself a little commitment statement i have mine on the fridge and it just basically says it's just basically an affirmation so that you can say i am committed to my own success and achieving the goal of whatever it is and i am going to work hard to get over any mistakes I make and I'm going to beat every challenge I face until I do it and hit director before 30th of June. A commitment statement is a great way to write down and to really express that you are determined and are going to make an effort. Um, you know, there is, I, there's a great little quote and I'm going to read it, it's behind me. The fellow who never makes a mistake takes his orders from the ones who does. Wake up and realise this. Failure is simply a price we pay to achieve success. There you go. Failure is the price we pay to achieve success. And that's why uh, some people like Richard Branson will say, I failed my way to be a millionaire. And it's true. So, oh, and one other thing, shout outs. I'm going to do these at the end now because then you have to watch all the way to the end. I want to shout four people out and I'm going to do this every single week and then I'm going to pick my trainee of the week just to give a shout out. So I would like to recognize Kat and Carrie, Kat Rosier and Carrie Emily Dixon, who have both added a new consultant to their team this week, to their front line. That is really important. Um, I want to see you guys committing to add two front line per month at least. I would also like to recognize Kylie. She has the highest GWV for anybody taking part in the director course. And she has her new frontline recruit of her own in this week. And she did all that while moving house. And she didn't make a big song and dance about it. Kylie, you rock. And finally, our top girl of the week. Uh, she has sales on the board. She is halfway towards her own full PRV. She has team parties booked in already for her newbies. And she has come from nowhere to be second highest recruiter in the team this month. Shelly Heaney. Go girl. Whoop, whoop. You are our top director training this week with three brand new frontline. Girl, if you can replicate that every single month, 
you will be the earner of the limited edition Grace Adele bag that I am going to give to our next director. Shelly, it is absolutely amazing. I know you have them all trained and ready to go. And I know that you work in New Zealand as well. I just want to say to you four ladies, you have worked your businesses in the last week and I can absolutely see it. You are doing the things you need to be directors. It's very exciting watching you and all the other ladies who've watched this video. And I want to say thank you for all your hard work and your effort. And I want to say that it's gone. I love you guys to bits and we cannot wait to see what you achieve next week. So please read chapter two. Write your commitment statement and um, go out there, crew like mad, sell like crazy and love what you do. Bye for now. Turn off, turn off.